Hello everyone. In uh, today's uh, lecture, we are going to write a program for finding the longest palindrome in a given string. So here, the basic uh, thing that accepting the user input that we have finished. So let's <coughs> write one function which will be finding uh, the longest string, and it will be uh, returning it. So let's say get longest palindrome which accept the user input I am writing it as a input string as of now let's suppose it is returning you some empty value so here we are going to say longest palindrome is it is longest palindrome dot get longest palindrome providing it now uh, in the previous video we have seen already the things we have to do for writing the program so first thing is checking with the validations so let's suppose we are doing validation in validation we know first we are going to check if it is empty so if input string dot is empty then we will simply say return one error message to the user saying enter proper string and if its length is one then also we are going to return it as it is input string dot length is equal to is equal to one then we are going to return the input string as it is so we'll say input return string now let us assume that uh, one string is there string longest we are assuming that first character is the longest palindrome so to get the first character input string dot substring substring from 0 to 1 so now what we are going to do we are going to call a function which will return string temporary value and uh, that we did so let's say as of now we are doing it for odd so let's suppose or checking we are going to check the equality checks so check the equality we have to define this function so this function basically takes the input string as it is of odd so beginning and end will be the same so now let's define it public static it is also returning you the string let's suppose check equality it is taking the input as string which is nothing but input string int value of begin and then int value of end so as it is also returning you the as of now let's suppose it is returning nothing currently so now here what we do we do the checking for the equality so that has to be done using the while loop what should be the condition the starting index should not go uh, behind begin so we will say that beginning index always should be greater than or equal to zero and end similar way ending index should not go beyond the last index so we will say input string dot length minus one same way both character has to be same if they are same then only we are going to uh, move forward with the end pointer and move backward with the begin pointer right so we will check the equality using input string dot 
character at begin should equal to input string dot character at end then if these conditions are true we are going to move forward and backward we are going to backward with the beginning pointer and we we are moving forward with the end pointer so and at the end we are going to return the input string dot substring substring will be from beginning index till the end of the index so this is for the equality check now it will return you some string value and that will be stored into the temporary now if it is returning you the longest value that means its length will be greater than whatever we have assumed earlier so let's suppose if longest dot length is less than temporary dot length then the new longest is nothing but your temporary value the same thing we have to do for the or check oh, sorry for even check so let's suppose here even checking now in case of this again we are going to call equality but here instead of i we are going to end with i plus 1 as it is the even characters and the same thing we are going to check if if longest dot length is less than temporary dot length then the new longest will be whatever the temporary string we have got that will be the and then finally we are going to return the longest as we can see whatever it will be the longest will be stored always stored into the longest always will be stored into the uh, longest string will always will be stored into the longest variable palindrome right but if you see all these steps all these steps considering these or checking has to be done for each and every character of the string so we have to write it inside one for loop so its for loop will be int i equal to 0 it should go till the last index so input string dot length and it will be continuously increasing so i plus plus and then inside this we are going to do this even and or checking all those stuffs wait a minute I mistakenly have pasted it outside. It has to be inside the for loop. So now this is the program for your. Let's. Okay, the spelling mistake is there, so change it to the proper spelling. Now we can run this and see what it gives as a result. So let's suppose initially we are checking with uh, the proper string that is a palindrome. So longest will be as it is. Now let's suppose I am adding some character into this a m d a n a. Now if you see here a n a is the longest palindrome, so our output should be a n a. And here is our output is a n a. Final one will be let's say. ra ch f g h g f now this is for if you calculate the length these are the length is of 8 so output is if you see this is the output now we will check one for the odd characters both are for uh, even so we will check it one for the odd Let's say Nitin. It is the proper dr. Okay, I am adding it extra. So longest is the Nitin. So this is how we can find out the longest palindrome in the given string. So thanks everyone for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to know how it uh, practically like 
algorithmic wise how it works so you can find out the link into the description thank you everyone